following this Paul Manafort story, which is getting more intriguing by the day. Good morning, Eric Katursky. Hey, good morning, McGraw. We know that Paul Manafort has been a key figure uh, already in the special counsel's investigation into potential collusion between Trump campaign officials and the Russians. Uh, he has also been under investigation here in New York for potential money laundering. And now federal prosecutors are also uh, joining that, that inquiry into, into possible money laundering. Uh, we've, we've learned, and, and um, the Wall Street Journal first reported, that, that the um, U.S. Attorney's Office here in Manhattan is taking a look at some of uh, Paul Manafort's overseas money that he, he earned from money overseas to see if it was properly accounted for here in the United States. Uh, all right, so this is really very confusing. Paul Manafort, President Trump's former campaign chairman, um, has been sort of talked about with the Mueller investigation and the Senate hearings. Where, where does this come from? Well, this has actually long been on the radar of the New York State Attorney General's office. Uh, Manafort has a number of real estate holdings uh, here in Manhattan and then on Long Island in the Hamptons. And the, um, the, the question has always sort of circulated is, are those real estate holdings just a way for him to launder money from overseas clients, particularly Ukraine. And, uh, and that's when he was working for the, the, the Russian-backed Ukrainian prime minister. Um, and, and I don't think they fully resolved to their satisfaction whether those, uh, you know, whether those real estate holdings are, are on the up and up. Yeah. Uh, we all heard a couple of months ago that the feds, uh, thanks to Robert Mueller, went in uh, in a what a, a, a what they call it an early morning uh, knock knock and take down or whatever it was to his house to take all yeah. of his his information whatever else does that have anything to do with this or are they are, are they using the same information or where does well, that, that stand with this that we don't officially know right um, and and it could be that um, that Mueller and his team stumbled upon something that they thought may be tangential to their investigation but is more appropriate for the um, for the U.S. Attorney's Office to look into. It could be that they're all looking at the same stuff, and it would not be unusual for there to be multiple investigations of the same person and even the same subject at different levels of government. Yeah, stay tuned. All right, Aaron Katursky, ABC News correspondent. Thanks, Aaron.